friends and welcome back. If you're new here, hello, my name is Callie Bransifor. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a product that I think is a true hidden gem of the Dollar Tree, and that is the little LED tap light. <laughs> All right, let's just start with a quick little rundown of this product. In case you've never seen it before, you get it in the electronic section of the Dollar Tree. It looks like this when you buy it. It comes in just a single packet, and it's an LED push light. Now, the first thing that impresses me about this product is just how bright it is. It seriously gives you a lot of light for only a dollar. The package says it's super bright, 80 lumens. I don't know what 80 lumens is. I don't know what it compares to. I just know that it gives you a heck of a lot of light. But there's a few other things I love about this product besides the fact that it just gives you a good light because there's some other tap lights you can get from the Dollar Tree, but this one is my favorite. And that's because some of the other features that come with it. The first thing is the back is just a really easy twist and pull off to replace the batteries. So this means if you have it mounted anywhere, it doesn't mean that you can't ever replace your batteries. It's just a really quick twist on and off. And then two other features that it has in this little back panel, one is it's got a little kickstand which flips out. So it literally can just sort of sit on a tabletop or like sit somewhere on its own also could work if you ever needed to hang it. And then the last thing it has is each one of them comes with an adhesive, a self-adhesive um, sticker on the back. This is a really strong self-adhesive, so you just pull back the layer. You can stick it onto something, which you'll see in today's video. So basically, you just got a lot of goodness packed into a $1 product. And so let's jump into some of my favorite ways to use this product. All right, let's start with some of the more obvious uses for this product. And the first one is using it underneath your counters in your kitchen. Our house was built in the 1930s, and I'm I'm pretty sure the cupboards in our kitchen are original, which means that the counter space underneath them is pretty dark. It doesn't get good light. And so using one of these tap lights is such a great option. I'm just going to adhere it using the self-adhesive strip, pop it underneath the cabinet, and now with just a tap, I have some extra lighting. It just works really great to light up this counter space. I also think this works really great for lighting up the area around our sink, which often can get quite dark at night when I'm doing dishes. So I added a light to above our kitchen sink as well. I don't need to call in an electrician or pay money to have like wiring put in. It's just a quick little tap light. Another place that these little lights are amazing to use is in closets. We have a closet in our upstairs bedroom that probably someday should be renovated, but it's down the road. Right now it works for what we need it to do, but it is extremely dark. So I just placed a few of these lights sort of strategically around the closet. And now it's really easy to just quickly tap and see what you're looking for. It's sort of funny once you install these, I wonder how I like lived so long, just like peering into a dark closet, trying to find what I have. It's just this like really quick one minute, $1 solution. And suddenly there's light in my closet and it makes such a difference. And obviously the same idea would work really great if you had a pantry or a cupboard or any other space that when you open it, it's kind of dark in there. You can't see exactly what you need. The light from the room isn't shining into the space. These are just so versatile in that sense because you literally can stick them onto anything. And then with a quick little tap, you lit up the space and you can find what you need. All right, my next trick for these is to use them for Zoom calls or basically just like any remote call where you're on a computer, which so many more of us are doing right now. Now, as somebody who makes YouTube videos, I'm pretty used to like lighting up a space. And so like lighting myself up when I'm going to be on a Zoom call or go to meeting or whatever is not a big deal for me. But I see one of the biggest problems when I'm chatting with other people or I'm seeing other people be interviewed or do business calls on their computer is that they're not properly lit. It, and that's because we're using the lighting that's in our house and the lighting in our house is typically two different ways one it's either coming from straight above us and when lights straight above us it tends to put weird shadows on our face and it's not all that attractive looking and then the other option is obviously to have light straight behind us when you have light only that's behind you you're going to be in complete shadow and the easiest way to solve this is to put light basically directly in front of your face between the camera in your face. It's gonna light up your face. You're gonna look so much better on camera for any of your Zoom calls or your Google Hangouts or whatever you're doing. And this little LED light is the perfect solution because of the little kickstand. You can literally close the kickstand over like three quarters of the way and it will just sit on top of your laptop. And that way when you get a call, all you have to do is tap the light on, your face is lit, it's lit evenly, it's lit all around, you don't have any weird shadows. It's seriously such a great solution, just keeping your 
office or keep by your computer for whenever you have to take a call. My next hack for using these is to actually use them on a table like top lamp. Tabletop lamps are great to have in places like around on your desk, to have on a bookshelf, to have on a table just for a little bit of extra light. But sometimes they can be really tricky because then you have to find a place to plug them in. Then you have cords hanging everywhere. So you can actually just swap a bulb for a tap light. So I got this little tabletop lamp at the clearance section of Walmart for actually less than $3. And I'm just gonna start by removing the cord. Usually this is really easy to do on lamps. On this one, I just had to unscrew the bottom and then cut where the cord connects to the lamp and then screw the bottom back on. And then I'm just going to replace the bulb area with the push light. So this particular lamp actually had a flat cover over the bulb, so it was really simple for me to just pop the LED light right onto that. But if you had more of a traditional spot for a bulb, a really simple solution would be to just hot glue the LED light right onto that. And then there you have it. Now you have a totally portable lamp. You can literally put this on any table, any desk without the fuss and without the mess of wires. And you get just as much lighting as you would have. Like I said, I got this lamp for less than $3 at Walmart. So this was a $4 hack for me. And now I have this really great little portable lamp that I can take all sorts of places. All right, moving right along, another great place to use these LED lights is actually around mirrors, particularly any mirror where you get ready in the morning. Because again, just like with Zoom calls, it's best to be like fully lit or all the way around your face when you're getting ready or you're putting on makeup. Personally, I get ready in our downstairs bathroom a lot because it's just easier with my toddler running around, but the lighting in there is not very good. And so a really simple solution was just to add a couple of these around the mirror so I can pop them on when I want to get ready. It helps to light up my face so I can really see what I'm doing, makes it much easier to do my hair and to do my makeup. And on that topic, if you want to get really crafty, you can actually DIY your own vanity mirror using all Dollar Tree products. You're going to need two foam posters from the Dollar Tree as well as a mirror. You can find small 11 by nine mirrors at the Dollar Tree. Sometimes they're hard to find and out of stock. So if you can't find one, you can also get them at Walmart for very, very cheap. But basically you're gonna start by removing the frame and just popping out the mirror piece, then place it on the poster board. I'm going to measure three inches all the way around to create a frame of three inches all the way around the mirror. And using a craft blade, I'm going to cut this piece of poster board out and then I'm gonna cut a second poster board in the same size. On my first board, I'm going to make the top to my frame. So I'm gonna measure in from all edges, just barely wider than three inches. Again, remember we measured a three inch frame before. So I'm going to go just a little bit longer than three inches this way. So I know that there's gonna be a tiny bit of overlap on my mirror. And on the second board, I'm going to perfectly center my mirror and trace it onto the board and then hot glue it into place. At this point, it is a good time to get the mirror nice and clean. And then again, I'm gonna come in with hot glue and I'm going to place the frame that we cut out before over the top. Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere the LED lights using self-adhesive tabs all the way around the sides and the top, and then that's it. You've got a very well lit vanity mirror. You have light all the way around, so this is so great for makeup application, because like I said, it's lighting your face from every angle. It's giving you a nice, even light all over your face, and we did it with less than $10 worth of Dollar Tree products. One thing that I think these lights would be amazing for is for camping because they are so easy and so portable, but I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't camp. I mean, I, I have camped, I can camp, I just don't really enjoy it. I know that it's really cool to be like rugged and outdoorsy right now, but it's just not really my thing. I think it's fun for a few hours. I like s'mores and campfires, but then you wake up and everything smells like smoke and everything's wet for some reason. I don't consider myself a super high maintenance person, but I just don't like sleeping on the ground. There, I said it. But I just feel like I have to mention it because you are somebody who enjoys camping. These would be such a great product to just throw a few in your bag because again, like I said, they could hang or they can just sit on their own. They're just small, quick, easy, and portable. Okay, last but not least, I have this little wooden crate from the Dollar Tree and the light actually fits really perfectly inside. So I decided to make a wall sconce. This way, if you want to use your lights, these lights somewhere around your house, but you kind of wanted to disguise them, this is an option that you could use. Since on their own, you know, they're not all that cute looking. So I just painted the crate. I'm using some brown chalk paint and then I like to paint the chalk paint on and then use a dry towel to sort of wipe it away. I think it gives it more of a stained look. And then I'm just going to paint the entire crate this way. And once it's dry, I'll adhere the light to the inside of the crate 
using the self-adhesive strip. And then this can be mounted to your wall or anywhere you wanna use it. I like using the command picture hanging strips. I find that these give a nice strong hold, but when you wanna take them down, you can. But if you want it to be permanent, you could definitely just screw these right into drywall or wherever you wanna hang them. And it just adds a little bit of light. Again, like I said, it's just a little trick for using this somewhere in the house, but if you kind of want to disguise it a little bit, you could easily put it inside of one of these wooden crates. All right, my friends, that does it. That is some of my favorite ways to use the LED push lights that you can get from the Dollar Tree. It's just a very functional, helpful product from the Dollar Tree that I feel like people don't talk about enough. As always, thank you so, so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.